Eggs have been designed as a perfect food. After all, chicks use every part of the egg to grow and develop. Eggs in the grocery store contain all the same components. However, they are unfertilized, so they will not hatch into a chick. Commercial table eggs come from egg-laying hens, which lay approximately one egg per day. These eggs are collected and shipped to egg grading stations where they are inspected and sorted. This is a highly automated and efficient process. Depending on their grade, eggs are sold as whole eggs in grocery stores or sent for value-added processing. On farms, eggs are packed in clean plastic egg trays which are set onto pallets. Pallets are loaded onto refrigerated trucks which are designed to maintain egg quality and food safety. When the eggs are delivered to the grading stations, they are taken to a storage room and will be graded within the next 24 hours. The room temperature is kept between 10 and 13 degrees Celsius to maintain freshness. Egg size generally increases as the hen ages. Therefore, shipments from young flocks tend to be several grams smaller than eggs from older flocks. Trays of eggs are taken from the storage room and set onto the grading machine. The machine turns every second tray so they all face the same direction. Eggs are then unloaded from the trays using suction cups. The eggs are washed by brushes and sanitized with a mild detergent. It is important that the wash water is hot enough to sufficiently clean the eggs and kill any bacteria which may be on the shell. If the water is too cool, the contents inside the egg shrink, and any bacteria that may be on the outside of the egg can be drawn in through pores in the eggshell. The eggs are then air dried using fans within the machine. To detect any defects, eggs are candled by rolling them over light tables. Shell defects and internal abnormalities are marked by a grater using a computerized wand. Eggs with defects are removed at this point. Blood spots and eggs which are bought at the grocery store are not that common because they are typically removed during candling. Blood spots form when the follicle, or yolk, experiences difficulty breaking free of the ovary along a structure called the stigma. The stigma is a clear, non-vascular area on the yolk. Blood and table eggs are not associated with early chick development, as the majority of commercial eggs are not fertile. These eggs are marked and removed during candling, therefore they will not be sent to market. Blood spots are much easier to detect in white-shelled eggs than in brown-shelled eggs, since they are easier to see through. There is no nutritional difference between brown and white eggs. Meat spots occur when small pieces of tissue are occasionally shed from the hen's oviduct and become incorporated into an egg before the egg white and shell are added. These pieces of tissue appear as small dark spots in the egg. These eggs are removed from the grating line once detected and are not sent for human consumption. Cracked, thin, and spotted shells are clearly visible under the bright light used for candling. Cracked eggs are removed from the line, while thin and spotted eggs are sent for further processing. Hairline cracks are detected by a computer and are discarded. During storage, the egg white, or albumin, will lose volume due to moisture loss and the air cell in the large end of the egg will increase in size. Large air cells indicate older eggs, so removing eggs with excessively large air cells during candling ensures that only the freshest eggs make it to the grocery counter. Canada grade A eggs are those free of defects. These eggs are the most common eggs sold in retail markets. They have high quality albumin, a round, well-centered yolk, a clean, uniform, crack-free shell, and an air cell less than 5 millimeters. Canada grade B eggs, which are lower quality eggs, are detected by the computer. These eggs have a watery albumin, a slightly flattened yolk, or a shell that may be rough or slightly stained. They are sold to commercial bakeries or sent for further processing. Canada grade C eggs are of poor quality. They may have thin watery albumin, a loose yolk, and cracked or stained shells. These eggs are never sold in grocery stores 
but are further processed. They must be pasteurized to ensure food safety. Eggs are sold not only by grade, but also by weight. Eggs are weighed as they pass rapidly over scales. Peewee eggs are less than 42 grams and are rarely sold in stores. Small eggs weigh between 42 and 49 grams. Medium eggs weigh between 50 grams and 56 grams. Large eggs weigh between 57 and 63 grams. Extra large eggs weigh between 64 and 70 grams, while jumbo eggs are larger than 70 grams. Jumbo eggs are often double yolked. They are made when the shell is formed around two yolks within the hen's reproductive tract. These eggs are completely safe to eat. The computerized machine sorts the eggs based on weight and grade and sends them to the different packaging stations. Eggs are packed into cartons of 6, 12, 18, or 30 eggs per tray. There are many types of eggs available at your grocery store, which include regular varieties, free run, free range, omega enhanced, and organic. Free run eggs are produced from hens in housing systems without cages. Free range eggs are produced from hens that have access to the outdoors. Hens that lay organic eggs are fed only organic certified feed. Omega enhanced eggs are from birds fed a special diet that increases the concentration of essential fatty acids. Today, there are a variety of egg sizes and types available in the grocery stores. All of these eggs are nutritious and safe to eat thanks to the commitment from egg producers, marketing agencies, and egg processors.